Here at the Newburgh Animal Shelter, Heather Graber is often busy. Changing their bedding, cleaning their, their cages, feeding them. And just spending time with the animals. And they just learned that if there's a person there, we want love. <laughs> huh. You can tell. Oh, yes. Hi. She's got a lot of love for these furballs. But she's had a lot on her mind lately, ever since she heard the city wants to sell the building. Her first thought? We need to do a lot more fundraising. <laughs> and that's exactly what they're doing. And the city would like to sell the building and uh, we would like to buy it. But to do it, he says they'll need about 200 grand. If that can't be raised, they may have to renegotiate a new lease. Right now, Rick Lipinski says the shelter only pays a dollar a year because it agreed to take over when the city nixed animal control a handful of years back. We'll be faced with increased expenses, obviously. We would have to make a, a higher lease payment every month. Uh, we probably have to pay for utilities, which the city has been paying for us for the last four years. And if more money is going toward things like utilities, building payments, or increased rent, that could mean less money for animals in need. An empty cage is an animal that can't get love and care in a new home. But there is good news. The Austin family in Newburgh has said it will match every dollar raised up to $100,000. That's half of what the shelter needs to buy the building. I think that we just need to stay positive and hope that, and pray that everything goes well and smoothly. There is a fundraiser planned for this weekend. It is sold out, but people can still donate on the Newburgh Animal Shelter website. In Newburgh, Christine Pitawanich, KGW News.